it was it wasn't it wasn't I don't think it was discussed but it was I uh, know it was it was my um, it was my master wasn't it yeah the post has been empty for some time okay and um, what does it entail I think we discussed this offline but basically provide the firearms and cannons and well, no, Make sure you're around for any battles. This is a this is an official post, not only just with the city, but um, this is basically an imperial post saying that you are the resident archmage of the city. See, resident. <laughs> is... <laughs> Let's get a sending no, out. No, let, let me let me be just straight. This is what the council is trying to do, as well as what your master is trying to do. I I don't care how Thogrim reacts to it. In fact, I'm interested in seeing as the DM how Thogrim reacts. The whole reacts point is it. asking how do you react? Uh, yes. yes. <laughs> They're trying like, to hoist responsibility upon well, you. Thogrim was like, well, this this was the original plan. They're like, we're gonna. I just got my lazy boat. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> They, they trained you as a wizard. You do know that they helped pay for that training. Of course, the cost of that training early on might have been high enough to require, you know, them to help out with it. Uh, although you have now achieved more than, more than legendary status, you are on the verge of cracking eighth circle spells, and the city of Overlook uh, is under attack by waves of enemies, and they need a defender. And you've already defended Brindle as well as uh, uh, defeated the Gith Yankee general. You've, you, you and your band have made a name for the yourselves. All right. Um, we do we as a group do we meet later in the day or at night or anything like when are we supposed to meet again? Because uh, if if not, I'd, I'd send a. A meeting with Barnabas and um... yeah, you guys can meet before you leave for uh, or before you talk. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he he'll yeah. If if the the whole group of us, if uh, he, what, he, where... he'll invite everyone for for a uh, uh... yeah. We'll we'll go hang out at his his beach resort for the for the <laughs> afternoon and eat okay. at the uh, all right. So you invite everyone to Thogrim's Forge. Uh, Slake is the only one that doesn't go. You can show up. He, don't bring your goddamn sticks. <laughs> He's not interested. For you too. <laughs> okay. Um. He says it'll just make him mad. He'll smash things and yeah. Then you'll fix it with magic, and it was even worse than the next. The, the yeah, the sun. Thing. At this point, the sun would already be set, and the moon is, uh, is still, or the sun is setting, and the moon is showing up. Okay, is there anyone else not going? Uh, this is you guys have completed your training. You're about to. Ooh. You've got two days before you need to meet with the imperial. Oh, as soon as Barnabas Ooh. can, he casts Pox of Rumors. Okay, so before. What the fuck is that? Pox of rumors and where it's a mean spell. <laughs> where do you where do you cast this spell? I, I cast it um, from wherever the fuck I want. <laughs> oh, okay. Swarmus, <laughs> excuse me. He goes into the into the lavatory, locks the door, <laughs> makes sure there's no one inside these things, goes and sits in a stall. <laughs> He uses a mythic point because otherwise it's an eight-hour cast. But so... <laughs> oh freak! Oh no! Oof. Okay, Pox of Rumors is a you're casting this as a fifth-level bard spell. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. And you're placing the curse upon whom? That would be Lord Deverak. <laughs> it's not just Lord Deverak anymore. It is. Um, Great Elder. <laughs> Great Elder Lord Deverak. <laughs> elder Lords? I, I don't know if he's an Elder Lord. Uh, but yeah. Then... The Dark Souls music. <laughs> Casting it on the guy whose beard hair I own, other than Breno's. 
Oh, you have a physical connection to the target. Wonderful. Yeah, because originally we got it so we could scry on him in case he got kidnapped or dominated person again. But um, <laughs> again, well, it happened once. We were no, like, no, okay, no, 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 no. again. You curse the target to attract negative assumptions and rumors of a sort you specify when you cast the spell. What is the rumor of sort that you are uh, casting upon? Uh, that he was responsible for the orders leading Bram Ironfell out of the city prior to the attack. Okay. Oh, and what's her name? Causing her not to be there. No. No, just, just Bram Ironfell. Oh, just, just Bram. Hmm. She's petty. Yes, I'm being it's funny. All right, and petty. what is the will save for this? Well, once he drinks the cognatage and then casts, it'll be DC 30. Oh, <laughs> uh, but he does have the, yeah, so it's another minus. Yeah, the wrong yeah, plane. You, you... Does that matter? I don't know. I haven't looked at the spell. Oh, uh, he, he would have cast it before. Yeah, if the plane thing does matter, and it does, uh, he would have done it before he comes here. Okay. Yeah. So you went, you went in here just to giggle. Yeah. Does he usually do that whenever he uses the lavatories? It's a funny poop! Are you right there? Number six, remember to insulate the bathroom right. with more it's wood. It's only yeah? natural. The same penalties that apply to a scrying spell. Um, minus five when you use a piece of the target's body. Okay, so you've got hair, so it's, that's DC 35? Yeah. Uh, I think Lord Deverick's at try to roll a 20. Nope. Okay, what happens? Well, um, <laughs> after the first sale, failed save, the attitude of each resident in the settlement where he is has, uh, regarding the target, is worsened by one step. Oh, my God. Which means that if people were unfriendly towards him, they've become hostile. Yes. There's are people throwing tomatoes at him. Like that old lady across the street who's like, you keep putting the garbage bin at the wrong spot. Yeah. It's actively throwing How shit often at do you. they have to make a save? Every day. Every and, day? And he's at a minus four unless he uh, knows the nature, if he's unaware of the nature of the rumors. Okay. You cast the spell. You're laughing because you just cast the spell. You don't know whether it's worked or not. And you arrive <laughs> at Thogrim's Forge tomorrow. and... and oh, Barnab no, no, it lasts a day per level. Barnabas is just... He seems to be in such a good mood when he arrives at Thogrim's, For or at Thogrim's Forge. It's the air. It's very clean here. Oh, yeah, uh, Quintessa and... and your and, fake son just, just brings a smile to my face. Quintessa and Val are also here. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. <gasps> Thogrim, I have a question. Yes, Shunny. What happens if earthquakes go off in here? You get disintegrated. <laughs> <laughs> it's fascinating, you see. Yeah. That's a good one. I like that one. <laughs> you've you've given Quintessa and Val like badges and they've <laughs> they show up. Boom! Oh yeah, here's your badge. <laughs> Yeah, Thogrim has to stop the golem from from attacking Ooh. and oh, halt! Your badge is here. My badge. My, my badge. <laughs> my badge. <laughs> don't don't take these off when you're here. This is on another plane. Yes. Yeah, they're on the ethereal. Hey, Val. Goes. It's quite safe here. Starts having a look around. Oh, uh, do not step anywhere. Yeah, apparently, if you go... Don't it, outside the windows. The windows <laughs> it should be like, a, <laughs> like, you know, your safety briefing? Do not step outside the windows. Where the cannons are, do the railing, don't step up there. Master, I could bring you the, the new guests on tour if you would like. This is Thogram 6-1. Ah, ah, please, 6-1. You're quite good at that. Just go ahead. Thank you. Okay, he... Brings you on a tour, you guys get the lay of the land, and you know where not to look, and all the windows are lies, basically. <laughs> it's bullshit. 
Uh, where do you guys eventually congregate? Outside or to have a like, party chat or whatever? Yeah, I'll be out in the uh, out on the uh, what's it called? Out on the beach. Yep. Okay. So, Sunny, Sunny sees a couple of his menagerie. The, <laughs> this is the Modra turtle and the Cyric. Uh, uh, Cyric uh, the lemur. Lemur. Yep. Who's that, Jojo Boojo Boo Boo? Look at us go, so happy. Is any is anyone hungry? Hmm. Oh, he's just, that. While when Thargon comes out, it's like pick any fruits you want. There's there's nuts and stuff like that, and berries here, and there's bigger fruits on this thing, and there's water here. So, okay. After getting the lay of the land, Val relaxes a bit. He takes off his helmet, pokes it onto his belt, and he's, so... he's eating. <clears throat> yes. Eamon Got stands me, guard at the door. Like, dwarf Re- stuff. <laughs> relax, relax and stay a while. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's maybe, not, that's near the forge. Maybe you could just head back to the fountain for a while. <laughs> <laughs> don't try to break anything. My own bus. Yeah. Uh, I saw an eel omen, but it was in the flesh. Well, without the flesh, the part of you. Oh. A, a man with a robe, floating, silencing everything but the flames before him, who uh, looked ill upon the gods and then disappeared before shushing me to sleep. What is that? Is this some sort of fucked up riddle? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it. So you saw all this and hey. then you woke up. And then, then, then. No, no, no. It put me to sleep. Then I woke up. Ah, okay. I had no face. It was like, like a, like a, a gold decayed necromancer, but in some place where you know there couldn't be on death. It's all warded. The priest assured me it was warded. All right, describe to me your dead thing. Size of a man. Say builded everything. Day, but like rotten and decayed, and the cowl with silence dripping, with only the flames crackling to hear. My voice stuck in my own in my own gums. You knew. Fucking staring down more and in, and I don't know what the fuck he was doing. I couldn't hear it because you know, the sound thing, but talking shit or something. You didn't understand what he was saying. Well, you can't hear what he's fucking saying. It was all quiet. <laughs> Except for the flames. Except for the flames, yes. The fires, the torches of the gods that were going out. That could be hard. Well, you were telling me a figure. Uh, you are telling me a figure resembling death as... Um... was seen looking about your your golds. Very interested in Moradin. Alright. Similar apparitions have been seen amongst my people. Oh shit, look at that, Brennos. You're not dreaming, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Give me a knowledge planes, Barnabas. <clears throat> oh, okay, I will. Just tell me a big number, and I'll tell you shit that. <laughs> I didn't. The big move. number today is five hundred forty-six. <laughs> leveled up. He will use his uh, memory subdomain power. Barbus rubs his temples a little bit. He's like, I'm thinking. <laughs> 
Uh, okay. Is this within 20 minutes of me taking my Cognatogen? Uh, no, the whole tour happened. And all. all right, all right. Uh, so, 55, 68. 88. Okay. Um. Oh, yeah. Hmm. 20. Come on, you. Ninety one. <laughs> well, there are creatures out in the multiverse that don't necessarily serve the gods directly. They're called psychopomps. Um occasionally one may um provide premonitions before death. Um with an eighty eight Brenos hasn't provided you enough of description to um, to narrow down which type of psychopomp it would be. Like there are various outsiders that do fairy souls to their afterlife, uh, or that do um, represent fate itself. Mm -hmm. This one, it's not the first time that you've heard of a psychopomp delivering. Um, bad news and being surrounded by silence and it's a relatively new um, uh, phenomena that might very well make it uh, an apparition of a new god Okay. So With your 88, Barnabas knows 91. what the... Ni your 91 knowledge check. I just fucking, like... No character in the last four campaigns has had this type of knowledge <laughs> result. Uh, four? It sings to Stars was getting those numbers. He was getting those numbers, yeah. Four checks. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That wasn't wasn't he wasn't asking but a question. I think, he was I, like, I'm awesome. Look at me go. <laughs> um, you you're pretty sure that this apparition serves a being or a general like entity of death called the silence of the grave. Well, it sounds like it might be a specific type of psychopomp. It, psycho what no? A psychopomp. What it sounds like is it might be an entity that serves a um, one of the newer deities of of, of death. It is. Um, it was looking at more, didn't you say? Hey. Uh, probably does not bode well for more than. Well, how do I fucking kill it then? It is not the agent of Moradin's destruction or death. A predictor of fate. Yeah, Fox had come up with a good word for it. An usher. Maybe maybe even just Thank you. being yes. maybe just being nice in, in saying that it knows the fate. Well I like the sound of that. How do you stop it? From... And by it I mean fate. Well, I mean, depends Quint of what fate is now, doesn't it? Quintessa knows the answer to this. It's the strange powers that the, all of your companions have. You fuckos. <laughs> 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 These <laughs> mythical powers that allow you to do things that mortals are not supposed to be able to do. That's how you might interact with fate and adjust it slightly. <laughs> Perhaps the strange powers you lot seem to be hoarding might have something to do with that. Yes, we do. <laughs> yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. That gets Val's attention. <laughs> he's got a handful of nuts and berries and things like that, and he's just listening to the conversation. Sometimes you gotta grab fate by the short and curlies and just give it a yank. Says Widget 
buried under a, a, a makeshift fort of pillows and blankets uh, to keep the sun out of his eyes. <laughs> Barnabas looks contemplative for a moment, and then kind of snaps out of it. So, you don't know who's going to tie a shiv more than eight. Just check it, Peter. <laughs> no, I am unaware of the machinations of the gods and who is planning on killing who. Though I could make some assumptions. Who will do the deed, I do not know. Uh, we need plain old broad things. To places. <laughs> I have a paper you might like to read. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> it's only nine hundred pages. I can't count that oh. <laughs> only <laughs> pompously written, ponderous tome <laughs> with complicated <laughs> formulas. A six one. I have something for you to read. <laughs> <laughs> Count the verbs and nouns. <laughs> no, no, I don't do that. Count the, count the punctuation. <laughs> the instances of characters. Uh, Amen. Spell checked it. <laughs> you, you can see Amen. Amen shifted the side of the door that he was on so he could watch Sunny play with the Mojo Turtle and the Arctic Lemur. <laughs> Um, he's got a fantasy of a little badger with a little hat on there. That... <laughs> or it's just more interesting than standing at the door. <laughs> if, if, if Eamon wants a badger, we can get Eamon a badger. If Eamon wants like a honey badger, we can get Eamon a honey badger. <laughs> No, I think Mark means a badger that is Barnabas. <laughs> yeah. We can get him a badger. <laughs> I, what? A, yes, we can get him a badger. <laughs> um, he'll be safe. Uh... Mother, should I, we talk about the demons? I can cast that spell too. <laughs> That's all I've done. Uh, ooh, uh, what demons? The Imperial Administrator is looking forward to our report about how we got rid of the demons in the sewers. Oh, fuck, are there demons in the sewers? You didn't know there were demons in the sewers? Oh, I thought we killed them. No, they're still there. Yes, they're still there, and they have the fascia. Okay, I remember that'll... missing the fascia very much. <laughs> Don't miss it so much right now, though. But it would be good to have back. It's a very powerful and potent artifact. Isn't it a potent little artifact? It would probably be good not to have anyone <laughs> other than us have it, whether we use it or not. Yeah. Oh. But I don't think anyone else should oh. have it. It's too powerful. Hey. Yeah. You said it was a machination of a new god. That is my understanding, based on all the reading I've done in the last year or so. Which new good? There are various... They don't have names anymore, you might have noticed. Do they got faces? Well, apparently yours doesn't. <laughs> what are those death gods of skulls, you understand? Marty, do I have any idea about a name or a title? Uh, it's called The Silence of the Grave. Right, sorry. Uh, it's the silence of the grave. What is its plane? In your... what, what plane? Hey, what the fuck is it? Where is its throne room? Where you, where it sits there and you fucking treat with it? The outer plane somewhere. Oh, it's some in the outer planes. It's um near the astral. <laughs> like that way, like. 
<laughs> yeah, that way. <laughs> <laughs> Just take the boat no, and he, jump off. You guys are in the ethereal right now. You're, we, uh, yeah, he's he's. Barros <laughs> has a rank in knowledge plane. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Okay. Yeah, now this is the ethereal. The astral is something else. The astral is where you you found that dead um, dwarven boy. I. I don't know if the new ones even have a face you can cut with the sword. Do, 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 do. No. <laughs> Mojo Turtle, helpless to Sonny's, to Sonny's uh, manipulations. <laughs> Who wants a berry? I think more, more of them likely do than the old gods. I mean, look at, he points at the thing on his forehead. Well, he was very physical. He doesn't even have, but his afterlife is a cave filled with gems <laughs> that we can dig down to and go see. Are you certain that's not a? Uh, are you certain that's not a sort of a local manifestation? If you kill the dragon, do you think the god dies? <clears throat> Mage handing over another piece I'm of fruit from the tree. <laughs> I'm comfortable with trying it. Yeah, Barnabas, with your insane knowledge religion, what is it? Oh, if, uh, if he takes 1062. Yeah, the new gods still have servants, um, some more powerful than others. Uh, the new gods aren't like things that really manifest, but they do absorb. You know from the five face god that you suspect that there were five gods at one point in time that kind of merged into that thing. <laughs> Or that maybe it gained some of its heads from abiding a deity. You know that some deities abdicate their uh, their power and autonomy to become almost vassals of deities. It's almost like there's this very slow moving uh, amalgamation that happens with the new gods. Um, at their true core, you just don't know, but you suspect and have read some of the uh, theories about it uh, is that they are more like base entities that maybe once existed in the multiverse before the gods actually were a thing. Okay. That they're okay. shedding their identities. So um, <clears throat> in order to become this force, um, the glimmer of geode you suspect is if it is deific, it's some it would be like equivalent to an avatar to one of these forces or, like or, or even just a powerful being even. that is just acting on behalf of mm -hmm. so, Sonny's no. determination of local manifestation. Yes. You might piss off the entity or the allied entities. The particular by, servant. Yeah. Yeah. By it, attacking the particular servant. But yeah. yeah. Well, the new gods are not, they don't have identities. They're not like people. It's not like High Thogrim, God of Cannons. Instead, he would be the smoke that comes out of the cannon. You don't talk to it. You talk to someone who makes the smoke come out of the cannon. Uh, how the fuck are people supposed to identify with a fucking concept? Well, um... Do you think you could identify with rage and destruction? How do you guide your life on that? How do you, you know, like, ritual and personage and tale and epic and teaching the fucking kids not to run around with goddamn sparklers? <laughs> you are having a really hard time with this time Sp in your life. Sparklers are a bad idea. They, everyone needs guns. <laughs> well, one of Brandis's beard hairs just falls out like <laughs> Kids these days. <laughs> Those of us not rooted in the past. 
are capable of, um, in fact, for many, the lack of ritual of personage uh, makes it that much easier. It's not about easy, it's about me. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Who someone worships, I don't give a fuck, right or wrong. As long as it doesn't bother me. Well, and your worship means piss all. It, it's supposed to be guiding principles and stories to build your life and, you know, guide peoples to their fucking greatness. You like, do. Good gods, or old gods, new gods, it doesn't matter. I will serve the Undying Emperor until the end. Uh, Quintessa uh, looks at Dying him. Emperor's got a fucking face and a name and a story and it, it's better than the other fucking things. Quintessa There's smoke in the cannon. <laughs> irritated at Val. Yep. Uh, you do know that there are some, a very small number of people throughout the Imperium that worship the Undying Emperor directly and the Imperium does very little to dissuade them of this. That's shocking. <laughs> 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 yep. Okay. Most loyal, right? Yeah. All right. Well, I have an issue. <laughs> if we're airing out the laundry, if uh, you know what they say, yeah. Uh, Barnabas, Barnabas is like, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Fuck, if we're going to have another fucking session like this, I'm going to at least sit down and put my feet up. <laughs> I even get me a drink. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> you, you collapse in on the on the little fort where Widget was hiding. <laughs> Eamon goes and tries to find water. I don't know where the water is. So it's just the uh just if he here. manages to find water the disappointment on barnabas's face <laughs> is he can feel it <laughs> well the magnificent mansion's not up yet so it's whatever food store is this, oh, this okay. water I, if anyone's hungry you can just cast it okay Eamon goes and finds you a cup of water water <laughs> yeah i didn't i didn't put cups around the fountains i figured that would suck <laughs> little dispenser <laughs> so yes um guess they want me to become the defender of outlook still one of the friggin cushions so the, do you the mean footstool. overlook overlook yes yes outlook, you know, <laughs> mail and everything <laughs> shand <Shandrasen. laughs> this magical interweeb <laughs> congratulations Thogrim. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how this plays with everything that we do. Yeah. What do you mean? You realize that that is a military title and it does hold political weight, says Val. He seems to be in the camp of congratulating the... Yes, no, I, I, I know it's, it's what I've been groomed for and it's what everyone expects, but... Uh, Are you going to do it? Well, kind of looking for your input on this. It's important to have roots within the Imperium. Yes, it is. I know that. For the safety of it, all that are good. It it would definitely help me with. I mean, <laughs> it, it would it would help it would definitely help with uh, my beliefs. Everyone's getting a gun. What? Yep. Who's making cannons for giants now? The defender <laughs> of the region. <laughs> um, no, it's just... I, I'm not always going to be around. Right? Sometimes we're stuck places. Sometimes we're not around. Sometimes we're not there. This is true. I will have to check in on them daily, at least. Actually, hold on a bloody minute. You just want you if you're worried about like that sort of thing, get one of your icy boys to go, you know, stand around and you know, with a sending scroll for you when there's a problem. No need for sending scrolls, they actually know the spells. All the better. They they have they have sending. Uh wait, ascending? 
It's growing. Our oh, sending's fifth. If you were a holy man, it'd be a fourth. <laughs> yeah, they don't have it. Damn it. Instead of worshipping smoke and shit like that. <laughs> oh, the smoky cannon. <laughs> um, actually, Falcon Sphinx... is an identity. He falls. Um, he is a new god, but actually falls more in the category of what an old god would be. Well, he's got a face and a name, right? He's got both, yeah. Well, right then, it's, it's, I, I take it back. He's all right. He's got a face and a fucking name. <laughs> Bruno says it's like, if you don't have a thing to kill, you're not as real as the things that can be killed. Because you can be killed. <laughs> it makes you more real. Like, that's like that's in his brain, the distinction. <laughs> Sendings can just be cast from anybody there. I think that's fine, then. I mean, it'll have more responsibilities. I'll have my crafting time will not be dedicated 100% to a group when it's time to do so. Well, you've, you've done more than enough already. Yes, you've, yeah. um, you've already proven yourself an invaluable member of the League. You've nothing left to prove. Yeah. If you need to All take right, some so, time so here and then to deal with your new duties, I don't think any of us will object. So be it then. All right. Used to making a stronger offer look. It'll be good. I've already burned enough bridges there as it is. It'll take a couple of decades before they're not pissed at me. Oh yeah, they fucking hate you. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> not wrong. <laughs> Hmm. Right. So will the situation with the doppelgangers fall under my umbrella? Uh, I believe that you kind of divide. <laughs> Pretty certain you decide your purview kind of using your judgments. Everybody gets tested every day. Starting with the council members. <laughs> You have to keep in mind, you, uh, it's a military position, correct? Yes. Sometimes the military needs to take over. Yeah, you are <laughs> in charge of the military, so... It's a great deal of responsibility and... Um, he's, in charge, he's in charge of magical resources within Overlook. Magic. Okay. Oh yeah. my god, that's awesome. Um, for, for us. <laughs> he's. We would like all of your magical resources, please. He's... But he's expected to defend the realm and support the military. The commander of Overlook would be in charge of okay. the forces. He's going to be the big fuck you wizard that lives in the tower of the city that they go to when they have problems. <laughs> the dragon attacks. Where's the wizard? Right. Somebody got cursed. Where's the wizard? Mm -hmm. hmm. Alright. That's fair. Alright, I'll do it then. Thank you, Will. When are we fighting the demons? Oh. Uh, we have a demons out of that. How come nobody told me about the demons in the sewers? I, I just thought you knew. Well, you, you were there. <laughs> Everybody said they were too busy to get the Farsia back. I have been checking in. I still think they're down there. That's... That's, oh, no. <laughs> we really should do it very soon. Yep. Should kill the big fly one, that's for sure. I think you described the big fly one to Barnabas already. I already made this check. The weird buggy demon that summons swarms of flies. Yeah. Pretty gross. You can see everything. It was called Fly on the Wall. Yes, Fly on the Wall. All right, are you? So the next day, basically, that's um, the day in between now and when you have to be in Denevar. Okay, your well, best I guess behavior. we're gonna go kill a demon today. <laughs> yep. Are you bringing the whole party to go do it? 
Oh, 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 oh. I sorry I wasn't paying attention. Ah. They all left the fire domain. They're not, they're not, they're not on the plane of fire anymore. They've they've all pissed off. Uh, just just so everybody knows, our opportunity to kill them has ceased. Uh, but we still need to go um, and uh, save the uh, Jamara by representing her with uh, the uh, destroyed remains of um... Sarshan. Oh, what? Sarshan. What's his face? Sarshan. I can find uh, the individuals you're looking for. I tried to convince her that bringing a, a squirrel in, and she just said that no, 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 she would have to do what the squirrel said, and she'd just be collecting nuts all day, something like that. It'd be, you know. You didn't hear what I said. Hmm? I can find the individuals you're looking for. Um, I've learned some new spells, you see. Um, the discern location is an interesting one. I haven't tried it yet. Why don't you try discerning the location of the fucking fly on the wall? I could do that. Oh, well, yeah, this is the... This is the I'm ruining your adventure, DM. <laughs> yeah. you know, between this and find the path, there's not a lot that's like you know. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is the one that goes down to the community or location. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah? P uh, PO box. Um, nothing short of a mind blank or a direct intervention of a deity. Got it. It doesn't even. No saving throw. No spell resistance. It's just. And it doesn't need to be cast in the same plane because it'll tell you which plane you're on. <laughs> to find a creature with a spell, you must have seen the creature or have some item that once belonged to it. So, did Thogrim see the fly on the wall in that battle? Nope. We just did. We did. Well, it gives them the criteria. Give me something that belongs to it, and I can find it for you. The Fossia of Rest. <laughs> I could try to find the Farsi of Rest, yes. So Widget could Mythic Point it? I don't know if it's a... I think it's a standard spell. A locate I think it, I think it so, is. A discern location. Oh. I think it is too, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Either that or we just use it so often. It like... seems so... It seems so weak, though. It's like, it's like... Oh, here's the new power I learned. Oh, I'll just copy that shit for you. <laughs> I, I, I'll do it. It's fine. I'm just like, yeah, the more You've got the, two the wizards. The there's going to be overlap in what yep. they can do. In fact, yep. there's three. Yeah, the there's, there's a reason I, I got <coughs> spells. Like, like, look on my spell list. It's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, a um, widget will cast the. Uh, Discern location. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you want me to write it down, or you gonna? Oh wait. I, question. I can, I can write. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, prime material yeah. plane. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Volcanica. We we never really named the continent because there's only one massive like landmass in Volcanica. One that we care about. Yep. Um, Pangea. <laughs> yeah, the Pangea Volcanica. <laughs> Uh, the country would be um, effectively the uh, the protectorate of Elsir Vale. Overlook. Deep sewer. Uh, and then there's actually a sub place within the deep sewer called. Um, Uh, what do you call it? What, what would like like an, a a medieval plumber or somebody an engineer be called? Um, uh, well, you'd have an engineer or somebody who works with like cisterns. Um, Opener. Maybe doing masonry or brickwork. <laughs> oh, an aqueduct. Uh, okay. an, an aquanaut. <laughs> It's all fucking cool. Uh, <laughs> what the builder? An aqueduct builder. 
Uh, 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 uh. Uh, yeah, we're just we're gonna call it the uh, um, the tomb of the deep engineer. I think the, the word is engineer. Yeah. It's a scrying bowl. The question was, would uh, share memory allow other people to find the target? Widget does not want to share memories about his conversation or time with Fly on the Wall. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> no, no. But, but it would? Maybe. Uh, in this case... <laughs> Widget, no one asks. Widget knows. Widget uses one of his powers. They're using that thing again. That spell should have taken minutes to cast uh, yep. a quintessa instead widget just oh i know there's yep. a black swirl of magic and it can't be explained just, just by shadow magic that's not how it works <laughs> just, just rub it in my face <laughs> uh, yeah primateria volcanic capangia protector of elsia vale overlook deep to sure. a tomb of <clears throat> deep engineer hey uh Barnabas. Uh, yeah. Deep engineer sounds funny. Uh, knowledge what for like the deep engineer? Because when you no put deep knowledge deep local things, you start to get tentacles and eyeballs and stuff. So. Uh, knowledge local or knowledge uh, um, <laughs> history? Uh, okay. I don't know which is history and okay history is plus fifty five. So holy shit! I'm rolling anyway. I can't, you're going to intimidate me with your knowledge checks. <laughs> I'll take 10 and get a 65. All right. Well, <laughs> give me a second. Let me you just, okay. All right. Uh, uh, 31. <laughs> yeah. Uh, which it, uh, the deep engineer basically, um, we're talking about the engineering of stuff underground, which is typically. Tunnels, aquifers, sewers, uh, waterways, uh, that sort of thing. Um, in, in, this, in this case, there was a small clan of them that they were seen as... Oh, I don't know. They had a reputation of just being dirty, like, like kind of an underclass, and they kept to themselves. And as sort of a, a thumb to the authority at the time, they had their own family crypt um, deep underneath uh, mm -hmm. Overlook. Uh, Barnabas, you know that Overlook was once a, a giant settlement, so there are the foundations of previous uh, settlements here. Um, and not only did they this particular clan uh, spend a lot of time underground, but they built the sewers uh, of, or at least the first phase of the sewers of, of Overlook, and um, yeah, there's there's probably a small room down there with a no more than a half dozen sarcophagi of this particular family. It's not even a whole clan. It was just a very industrious, uh, but yeah. uh, industrious but um, uh, reclusive family. Yeah, uh, and there's nothing nefarious about it. They they, they actually did quite well for themselves. They, okay. fa they found things. They were kind of more of an adventuring family. Uh, Barnabas shares this knowledge without uh, censor. So. Yep. There's, but there is definitely a place, and apparently these, this fly on the wall is layered up in a place that probably not too many people visit. Okay. Does Does Barnabas have an idea how to get there? Uh. Barnabas knows where to get maps of the sewers. Uh, it would be in that library that you've spent much time in. Um, okay. You should also use those bugs of yours, widget, tell you the map, what it looks like. Yeah, as long as we get back alive. Sunny has also seen the entrance, or like a... Yeah, we could just, we could just teleport there. I've seen it. You yes, know, it here's the thing. I would like to know how to get out if um, it comes down to it. 
teleport. And I think those of us who can't teleport would also like to know how to get out if something should go awry. Teleporting would be the most... Expeditious, yes, I agree. That will likely be our method of entry. But should the exit go very badly... I see. You Wise. need to know how to get out. <laughs> Eamon, what were you going to say? Uh, oh, this is Val talking. Sorry. Oh, Val, what yeah. were you going to say? We were going to uh, give up our element of ambush and surprise if we didn't use teleport. They would likely hear us coming. Hmm. Yeah, we agree. Wait a sec. Uh, Eamon, do you have one of them uh, Cape of the Monty guy? He does not. He shakes his head slightly. Look around. Aside from Slake, I think if you get even one of the capes of the Monty Gay, uh, then we all can kind of hop around a little bit. Yeah, he'll be fine. Also, uh, before we leave, what of this creature? Its immunities, its strengths, its casting abilities. Anything. It can see things and spawns bugs. Grenade it is. Powerful grenades. Oh, uh, Barnabas has a box across his head. It's probably got a lot of those fucking fly demon things that makes you go to sleep. Um, Barnabas received a sending. <laughs> <laughs> fucking irritating people. <laughs> <laughs> fucking scholar Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want the fucking car <laughs> Mother, we should protect our minds with your abjurations. I assume you have, like, magic circle against evil and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Yes, she does. How... How many of us are we bringing down there? To get face the demons. Are we all going as a jaunty group? Or, you know... They will stand no chance if we bring our full force against them. My recommendation is to do that. Part of this is looking like I don't really want to go. It's a the only fools, try, only fools try to fight fair when you can cheat all of it. Uh, Cog mental wrong. note da, aligns his fists with good for the next day. Nice. All right. Uh... The wizards can stay in the back. This <laughs> fell. Okay, I think we're bring. I think we're just bringing the the might of ever trying fifteenth level power. Yay! Yeah, we'll call <laughs> just, this. We'll call this a warm up fight. <laughs> we're just gonna smack some demons around. All right, I'm gonna move you guys to a map. Uh, all right, is it on? Can you can you make good aligned bullets? Yeah. Yep. Just holy bullets. How would you do those? Uh, you. Treat it like, like it's a normal weapon. You divide by fifty, and that's how much you've how much ammunition you've created. Yeah. Is that ma is that ammunition ammunition magical? Yeah. Yeah, well, but it, 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 it wouldn't. It, it wouldn't. The plus wouldn't stack with the plus of the weapon. We'd have to go back no. to three. It is a plus three point oh okay. D and D. If it is higher, then it it would it would. I'm just wondering if it can use abundant ammunition with with something like that. Uh, no. read the abundant ammunition spell. It probably says something about no magic. Uh, it uh, does. It's no magic. Yeah, so it's gotta be non magic, magical. then you can't do it. Okay, that's cool. All right. We are gonna cleanse us some fucking things. All right. Let's try on. Who doesn't like demons? Well, we know Widget's got a dog in this fight. <laughs> oh yeah, he just wants to at least stop out the competition. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <Sit them>. <laughs> so first, you're going to try to figure out a way to... We're get... going to spend a little bit of time getting a, a, a sense of where it is in the city. Okay, so Barnabas, give me a knowledge architecture engineering check. You could get a plus two because you're in the library. Um, and you spend 300 gold pieces to... Uh, access the library at kind of at the last minute. All right, and we're going the next day. It, well, this current day. This this 
this. You're, you're due in Denevar tomorrow. You can spend a midpoint point in an hour to <clears throat> redo your stuff if you want. I can't do that. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so yeah, you may want to conserve I think, your I powers. Think there's only the... th I think there's only three tier three mythic And I think I have all of them. <laughs> and they're all yours. <laughs> oh, that's why I just... Yeah, sorry. Um, ooh. ooh. Alright, I've moved sewer. you guys to the deep sewer lair. Uh, I still need to figure out how all of you are teleporting there, but you could, if you wanted to start, you know, yeah. buffing or whatever. Uh, so, Barnabas, you go to the library, uh, and in 1d4 hours, uh, in two hours, you give me your roll or your check result. What is the... Knowledge, Sorry. architecture, engineering. You're looking uh, for maps, right? Yeah, 41. I am going to... Maps of the sewer and yeah, I'll, how the... I'll take, I'll take 20 and I'll spend a mythic. This could be important. So Okay. Uh, that'll give me uh, 81. All right. Uh, Barnabas, you find that there isn't just simply one map of the under of the undercity of, of Overlook. There's immediate underneath and then there's a deep underneath and then there are you also find that the um that those original founders um you suspect that they played some games with the maps to try to hide the place where they buried their dead yeah barnabas uh, is good at that stuff and you actually come down to you've identified this circle that that uh, that Sonny is like, yep, I think that's the room, but it has no doors on it. Okay. Um, so you've got three sets of maps that, when overlapped and shrunk to the right scale, uh, give you the the true view of the place. And with these maps, you're confident you could navigate uh, just by walking and climbing. Okay. Maybe a little bit of flying at one point, like as in you're down a shaft and then you go into another yeah. layer. <clears throat> okay, so that that's what he wants. That's okay. just wants to know if, if you also have now maps of sewers and deeper get... places underneath Overlook. Like this, how is... to get to noble cellars? And... <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, you you found a really good set of maps. Um, you could, you could return to, I don't think in two hours you're making copies of everything, but you could make enough of a copy that you could, you could trace your route to, to back and forth, uh, from this place. Um, in fact, there are probably after a certain point, two routes that you could take. Okay. Uh, uh and then, and then you can make note to come back here as a downtime activity. It would take you maybe two or three days of work. To uh, to actually make copies of them. All right. Or you can put the Darbians on it, and they could just do it nah. for you. I think he'll do it himself. It's that way. No one can rat on him by accidentally. Yep. And the Devera clan heist can begin. Uh, Barnabas also makes note of a couple of other areas that might be interesting to investigate. Although the priority of these things could be relegated to, and I think this is a conversation Mark had at me. He's like, I'm doing this with Barnabas. I didn't really know if we talked about it, but Barnabas had the idea of hiring adventurers to do the oh, yes. adventuring jobs. Yes. So you yes. identify a bunch of like, oh, go check out this. There might be a giant thing there. Or go check out... So you found adventuring locations for low-level adventurers, low -level adventurers. That, that's yes. beneath, awesome. that, that is yeah. beneath you. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't, I'm awesome. not using my magic missiles on dire rats. <laughs> right. <laughs> To go to go check out a thing that might look like yeah. a giant face, you know. Like, yeah. Um, oh, that's awesome. Yes, that's perfect. Okay. Uh, it'll be fast adventuring rules <laughs> for uh, for, yeah. for minor adventurers. Oh my God, we're spawning off campaign. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, make your third level character. Oh, no, no, we're not doing that. Okay, so, uh, Brenos is coming in, worshiping uh, Marth. How am doing? The okay. uh, the watchful eye. Take this eyeball guy. <laughs> my dwarf eyeballs are better than your eyeballs. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, yeah. He's also like the god of mountains or something. Uh, finder of trails, the watcher over wanderers. Cool. Um, 
is the optimal? No, but it's a warm-up fight. You don't need to pick the best you pick. The right one. All right, how are we all teleporting there? Ah, fuck, we're teleporting! <laughs> what we can do is um, teleport close by, give you a chance to activate, and then... Well, we know where we're going. Um, when you find Slake, there's a bunch of, like, confetti and stuff from the from the celebration the other day that's just sort of, like, stuck to him. It's just there. Yep. Okay, so Widget um, can teleport... Basic teleports are at caster level 16, um, 17. Wow. So, um... Oh, Thogram or... also has to go visit the council today. I, you knew about this. I told you about it. You did. You did six yeah. hours ago. I mean, don't I, <laughs> <laughs> just don't die while we're down there. Or if you do, we'll reincarnate you. It's faster. You know what? If they really want Wait, you to be defender, what time Overlook, is the meeting? If they really want you to be defender, Overlook, it's like <laughs> you should show, you show up show covered up. in like in like demon guns and stuff. Like, <laughs> what is it? <laughs> I was fucking busy defending Overlord. That's why I'm late. They, That's what you say. They're holding their count. Their like council sessions today. As long as you appear there before before sundown, then you're good. Okay. Before sundown. Okay, let's do this now then. That would be awesome if you just show up covered in demon guns. <laughs> it's it's like eleven o'clock in the morning after Barnabas did his research. All right, so Widget can take five, six if he mythic points. I don't. I, let's save the mythic because Quintessa right. has got greater teleport as well. Yeah, Slake will shut down to do the teleporting. Okay, so it's two teleports. How much does Slake weigh? A lot. Yeah. It, it, we it, Brenos needs to pick him up. I think mean, it's it's heavy. It's bad. <laughs> Uh, with all of his gear, it's like 800, 900 pounds. What's the DC to lift that? Uh, it depends on your strength score. What, what kind of what oh. kind of lift? I don't know. I just get to add my int to my lift checks now. Checks to lift things. So. Oh. <laughs> so, so you all should right, you should. Right. There's a little carrying capacity at the bottom of some of so, my character sheets. You should. Well, it's, it says to uh, strength. 26 is it's enough a, to walk around with him and not be encumbered outside of heavy load. It yeah. says to strength checks to right. lift things, so not to carrying capacity. So he, I, you I can't know. carry him, but you can move him. Like you could, like, um, no, it's it's to lift. I, I know we don't, I don't, can't remember the last time we did that, but uh, you might be able to strength check a thing that you can't actually lift as a like a combat action um okay but your lift score is times to your heavy load uh, off the ground. Yeah. yeah so this this is like to lift things okay. that you that you can't normally lift so, so what's your int his int is 34 so sorry 36 36 yeah so oh, that's gosh. uh uh 13. plus 13 sec. right that sounds wrong i'm looking at the wrong sheet yeah, he doesn't gain the carry capacity of that. He just he, he could strength so, score his way up yeah. to. With, with oh no, it's thirty six. Yeah, thirty six. There's, there's like ant hall mule carrying okay, so cords. With a with a with a uh, ways to do it. With a plus two fortune point or a heroism spell, you could think your way through a masonry wall that's one foot thick. <laughs> yes, <laughs> the weak spot is here. <laughs> you need a twenty, but you could like. Well, you can think your way through a wall. I'm looking at Slake's strength is 36. Um, his lift is 7,360 pounds. You could somehow lever your way. <laughs> I found a fulcrum. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yep. Oh, you're so smart. With a bit of momentum, a fulcrum and some spit. <laughs> uh, what, what are the ropes of the pry bar for? Never you mind. Yep. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> Why are you scribbling in your book? Calculations. <laughs> All right. Uh, casting spells before we go. Yes. Yes, indeed. Uh, and uh, I'm going so to... Quint if we share the memory round of the location, Quintessa... Ah, okay. ...has the um, 
the 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 greater the shoot the, the aiming without missing. <laughs> Uh, and uh, widget, uh, widget can or Thogrim can. It's, it doesn't matter which. Uh, who needs dark vision? Uh, Sunny could actually use dark vision. Okay, uh, it's just gonna put up. I think it's just Sunny. Uh, Val needs dark vision as well. No, he's got dark vision somehow. Um... Barnabas has goggles. All right, I, I think it's just. Quintessa and Sunny uh, get the benefits of a communal dark vision spell. Nice. Plus, you're probably going to turn into a bat anyway. Am I uh, right? you'll well, the bat has low light vision and blind sense. All right. Uh, no, but no dark vision for bats. Um, shield. It's on his sheet. I'm just not sure where it's coming from. Oh, he's uh, gloom blade. Maybe they gain it. Um, maybe. Shield. Mythic Heroism and Mythic Keen are going on Brenos. He's casting Sea Invisibility and Magic Circle against Evil on himself. He's also oh, say he's... Comprehend the free movement. Uh, his racial background is called Blended View. Gain 60-foot dark vision, keep low light, replace ah. multi-talented. So he got it. His, his dad ain't pure elf. There was a something, little some something, something in there. <laughs> yeah, a little, little bit of, little, little bit of, cloth. little bit of drow or something. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we, 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 we are we are talking about Quintessa's husband, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Communal protection from evil goes up. Communal yep. protection from evil. My brain just broke. Okay. Uh, who's who's all getting that? Because we also have some circles going out, or do we want multiple layers? Howie, how he's getting think, that as well. I think we want a few layers. Okay. How how he how he comes out for the castings. Okay. Then I put him back in for the teleports, and then I take him back out when we get there. Who should I put the magic circles against evil on? Uh, you should. Well, one is Brenos has one on himself. Sunny will put one on himself. That way, that part. Okay. Uh, uh, she is going to put one on herself. <clears throat> Val flies around, so he he wouldn't mind one. Okay, she'll give it to Val instead. That's all right. Okay. The witch spell. Uh, that's evil. the magic circle against evil. So I'll take that off. Oh. Uh, the life bubble. So we will throw out one of those. That's a communal. That is a communal. It's not communal. It's just called life bubble. But oh, it is bubble. oh, it just goes around life. life. Right. Who would like their gear turned into wood? <laughs> Val, Val staring at Sunny. <laughs> no, understood. <laughs> Do you want your deathless heavy fortification celestial mithril <laughs> breastplate turned into wood? No. <laughs> no thanks, guy. Skin. Uh, sorry, I meant box skin. Who would like a box skin? <laughs> oh, Cog's like, ooh, ooh. Uh, uh, okay, so which uh, Sonny will bust out a couple of bark skins. What? Um I mean, Val will take a bark skin. Is it a plus five bonus? It is a plus five bark skin. Yeah. Okay, so bark skin plus two net. You'll take one. Yeah, yeah, You're sure it. nothing's going to turn to wood? Well, I can't guarantee, but I uh, don't worry. I'm very careful with that spell when I cast it. Um, Barnabas, what happens if we cast an earthquake in the sewers? We get no back. earthquakes, Sonny. <laughs> Funny enough, you get disintegrated. <laughs> oh, understood. <laughs> it's a crazy sewer system, I tell you. The enemies are in the sewer. Do we care about the town? Nah. No. <laughs> <laughs> we earthquake the sewers. It's for the next month picking their boats. <laughs> uh, I think she's going to put up a freedom of movement for herself. The party is a bunch of like liches and undead, so they don't care about time. <laughs> time, yeah. We'll get there. We get there. Hobos, how's it going? 
Welcome to the channel. The <laughs> the uh, the always fun part of the party getting the jump on enemies so they're going to spend the next 15 minutes casting spells on themselves is the part that you're joining for. So we're, we're, we're giggling. <laughs> we're terribly our way. sorry. Yeah, we're the giggling buffing. our way through the that. Buffing. I'm going to take a quick uh, bio break while you guys are doing this. There it is. Can somebody uh, paste all of the communal spells onto Val? That would be helpful. Thanks. Yeah. All right. All right. Great success. Alright, let's see if my templates are there. They are. Yeah, that's good. Uh, life bubbles up. I think we're just going to whip through the elements just because. Yeah. All elements. All elements. Communal elements. Communal all, right. all elements. And you have protections? Uh, it's up to you. I like I think so. It's not it's not okay. worth uh, the resources. Okay. Uh... All right. Uh no one vowel. Communal all elements he has communal protection or, or protection from evil do we want a protection from energy up communal it's up to you um and a life bubble i've only got one maybe we'll see what see what kind yeah, of yeah it's one of those yeah. like that is a belt and suspenders sort of situation yeah exactly it's um i did let's be clear here it's a belt and some suspenders. There's not, not the worst thing in the world. Yeah. <laughs> There's not getting twisted. <laughs> um, flight. With a fly. In this last level, Brennus's AC went up by five. It's still That's, shit, but it's just it's not. That's got to feel better, though. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was laughably bad before. Oh, I think she's casting greater heroism on herself. Oh, greater heroism is good. Okay. Uh, Val, Val goes communals. Um, we're rolling in heavy. However you want to oh, yeah. It. It's, yeah, this thing's a major demon, so like we're not screwing around. Sorry, guys. No, it's a little boring, ass, but we don't want to die. <laughs> it's fine. Use your powers. This is the first time you guys are uh, getting into a conflict after getting 15th level. So, Everybody check your 15th level powers, then go, hey. Mirror image. All right. you, know, you know that there are Kazmi demons there. You know that fly on the wall is there at the time of the swift action two hours ago. Uh, was that the same day or the previous day? That was the same day, I was okay. told. Right. The myth point ticked off. Okay. Uh, freedom of movement. Mythic points. Yeah, but Fred Brown's got freedom of movement on himself. <laughs> He's got free movement and death ward because it's stupid to die. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. And life bubbles up. Life bubbles up. Delayed poison. Did you get that? Uh, the delayed poison was not cast. Got that. I will just communal it and call it a day. Uh, yep, communal delay poison. Good hopes going up. Will the mirror images make a difference? 
I don't think so. I, the characters who get casted, casted for me. Good hopes going up. Hmm. Right, so we're getting to the other side. Uh, the round kind of spells are probably... Protection from Eros Communal goes up. So it might not be at the exact right spot for the timing of that. Right? Mm -hmm. That is correct. So the short right. term... Don't break the Farseer, please. All right, you guys put up Good Hope? A good Hope was put up. Yeah. Okay, that affects your initiative. Anything else on top of initiative? Uh, yeah, yeah. The um, mythic heroism is a plus four, I think. Four for Brennos. Ooh, it's a four for Brennos instead of two. Okay. Cog, you're not. You don't do oh, a. And then Sunny is a bat, so a, Sunny a has a mutagen. Plus... I was just no, sorry. I was just finished. Thogrim Cog is. Um... Yeah, sorry. You, what's your question? Uh, does Cog put up a mutagen? Yeah. Plus four decks. Yeah, his mutagens last for 15 hours now. Okay. And then. This is morning. Sunny plus six from decks in size. Yep. Uh, all right. Okay. All right, I'm going to randomly roll initiatives because when you arrive, it's going to be pretty busy. Yeah, we're right. not checking at the spot before we just going to pop okay. in. Like, oh, we're in the foyer. <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> How you doing? Hey, Hi, everybody. I'm Kong <laughs> Phil. Uh, I think since we have so many casters who can do it, we'll probably have a haste running when we go, but I think yeah. the other round for levels are... The higher level round for levels, I don't think. Okay, Quintess is fine with casting Good Hope before we leave. Who's uh, who's casting the haste? Uh, sorry, uh, Quintessa casting. Quintessa, sorry, what level? What level? 15th. So we'll say 14 rounds of haste. Cool. Alright, uh, I've got initiatives all into the sheet with all of the enemies, and I'm ready for you guys to teleport. First, however, as you guys are casting spells, it feels like you're right outside the uh, Oakheart Library, uh, where Barnabas was doing his studying that day. I'm going to roll to see if there are any insects that are spying upon the Overlook. Legion has his eye out for those sorts of things. Yep. Uh, in the library, you guys standing around. Uh-oh. Uh, give me... Uh, I'll just do a spot check for the party. Uh, Perk, uh, Grimstone Chronicles uh, North. Um, cool. Val and Brennus notice this little suspicious wasp kind of hanging out on top of the lintel of the door to the it library. It's dwarven throne. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It, it's an insect. It's got like one hit point plus some DR. Uh, it, basically, for Brennos, don't roll a one. <laughs> okay. If the demon who's probably got thousands of these things crawling around the city notices the death of one of its insects, um, you do not know. Don't know. Barnabas comes out with, with like a drawing and joins the spell casting. You guys are within view of the, uh, what was it, the uh, Half Axe Inn where you, where you guys have spent a lot of time. That you don't any longer since your enemies started attacking you there. It also, we also, well, they destroyed the half in. <laughs> right. They destroyed it. Okay, who's teleporting and is it greater or lesser teleport? Uh, greater, don't screw up this. I think it's Quintessa and Thogram are the casters for the teleports themselves. Yeah, oh, and, sure. they're, and, and they're Quintessa's, both greater. Yeah, greater. Quintessa's is greater. Okay, point yeah. where you want to arrive, Quintessa, on the map. All right, I would like to arrive. This is the door. All right. Yep. We'll uh, arrive. Yeah, that there's right there is fine. Right there is fine. Okay. And then uh, Thogram was casting. Yep. Is it yeah. great, greater or lesser? Greater. All right. Where do you want to Where do you want to arrive? All right. You arrive a little bit to the right. I'll arrive a little bit to the left. All right, Contessa. <laughs> okay. And then, how long after Slake shut down did you wait to teleport? Five rounds. Okay, he'll be awake in nine more rounds. God damn it. (laughs) 
That's fine. He can help us pick things up again. <laughs> right. All right, you appear. Your ears pop a little bit as you've you've gone deep underground uh, into the sewers of into the deep sewers of uh, of Overlook. Um, there is the sound of moving water, uh, and the water is not clean by the smell of it. In the adjacent life bubble. in the adjacent chamber, if all of you are life bubbled, then you can only hear. You cannot smell. Um, oh, we can see the smell. <laughs> Sometimes there, you can see stink. <laughs> there is a little bit of light from perhaps these purposefully uh, placed um, bioluminescent like fungus that has been collected up into almost like torches, mm -hmm. casting an eerie green glow. Uh, the pouring of the uh, of the sewage water into a deeper cistern, uh, cistern is happening just uh, uh, just on the far side of the circular chamber. And with your perception checks, anyone who got <clears throat> above 30, which is everyone but Cog, Slake, and Eamon, do hear the occasional drone and buzz of something large on either side of the... Uh, on either side of the door. Um, they weren't expecting you. You weren't expecting them to be right there. I'm just going to call it this at the beginning of round one. A fair fight. Yep. Sonny, what are you doing? Ooh. There, there, is, there is a massive stone door that looks like it's been uh, used a lot recently as it's carved away a lot of the sludge and some of the fungus that was growing in front of it. It is current. Sight is there magic on the door? Is it's currently ajar slightly, and you can see come some of these flies like, like landing on the door and then taking off into the sewers, and then some of them are returning and then going deeper into the room, like like it, the door is open to allow the insects to go back and forth. Ew. Those the flies are not normal flies; they're about like two, uh, one inch to two inch long, um, almost like the abyssal. Uh, uh, aberrant wasps. Uh, the things that were keep keep on trying to climb into Amadeus's ear. Oh, Amadeus, why do you do these things to us? Uh, there's no like it's just open a crack. It's open a crack. Yeah. Uh, with arcane sight, is there any magic upon the door? Uh, there might be some minor abjuration, perhaps laid down by the original uh, by the original crafters. Uh, there is a uh, a faint. With all the dirt and grime, there is a faint etching on the front of the door that is probably the family symbol of the uh, of the deep engineers that uh, uh, Barnabas is talking about. Okay, uh, <clears throat> if we're going to disintegrate the door. <laughs> okay, <laughs> <laughs> and land on Eamon. <laughs> I'll roll an attack roll. Make the doors roll are quite one. large. Which one do you want to disintegrate? Uh, the. Uh, we'll do the one on the right because it would be funny to situate the one closer to Beta Barnabas, but we'll we'll do the one closer to us. Okay. Uh, I don't roll a one. I strike. I strike at the door with the disintegrate. <laughs> What's on the other side? <laughs> Oops, I'm trying to get delete. Oh, I might not be on the right layer. That's why. Uh, As we seal team six, this thing. Ah! I rolled eight <laughs> of my images. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, so you disintegrate. You disintegrate the door, and on the other side, I'm going to go to a different map. Save me, Save me. <laughs> There is a gross, uh, uh, slick landing. Uh, what with the it, hell is that? With <laughs> with stairs that lead down. And there is something on the other side that's clicking behind the door that you didn't disintegrate. Huh. And basically this this door has been turned to... Uh, Looks like something from one of like the bad Starship Troopers movies. <laughs> nope, that is, that is the Jeff Goldblum fly. That's, I, that's horrible is what it is. That is one of the greatest body horror movies I've ever seen. I rewatched it recently. It, it was good. It's, it's, and, it's so and, good. Yeah. And then I rewatched the second one and and, and went meh. But the, yeah, the second but the, one's not great. But the fly creature in the second one is better. It's it more, is. It's more hostile. The, yeah. the transformation though is not as no. You knew it was dear coming. Dear God. Yeah. Uh, all right, Cog. Uh, the door to the enemy's uh, encampment has been opened. 
Uh, and then you do hear some buzzing uh, behind you in the chamber where the water is flowing. Where are you headed? No, okay, hold on a second here. Oh. Here, I'm just going to bring this guy to the other map so <clears> I don't <throat> have to keep on switching back and forth. So he's right behind this door. It's, it's like he was guarding. <laughs> Well, he was holding the door open so little bunny ears could get in and out. Just managing the, the situation. Okay, well, um... Uh, initial... <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Cog is going... I don't know what this Q and horror thing is. <laughs> oh, we would have had, uh, we would have had to put... Uh... I think Brenos in this group and Cog in that group, because uh, Brenos is holding. Yeah, it's like okay, yep. Team Dwarf. <laughs> Cog can go here. Can we go attack Kay. buzzing things. Do you yeah. see invisible creatures? Yep. Okay, they're up on the walls, about ten feet. <laughs> can reach them. Okay, so you run up to one. <laughs> Intruder. This what? is this is dimensional hop. What do you want? Uh, so flurry this thing. Oops, flurry that thing. Oh, do you want your little uh, flurry hoppy things? The coglings. Yeah, the coglings. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> that's a nice. The coglings. Where was the last time we used these? Um, uh, it would have been the. Yeah, it'll just just stick next to this one. Here, I'll just find it. Token library cog. <laughs> There we go. Dimensional cog. All right. So you're using your power uh, taught to you by the Gazere to uh, to dimensionally hop to different places, attacking yep. as as you as you hop between them. Uh, you're not going to be able to flank these things because you're attacking from below. But they haven't gone yet. They, right. They are flat-footed. Yep. Which means Medusa strike. <laughs> yes, it does. You do get your extra attack. <laughs> <head. laughs> well, that's okay. taken care of. <laughs> what do you want, intruder? Where did he go? <laughs> the other one okay. seems to wake up when the other one makes noise. Unfortunately uh, for it, it's not going to fare very well. Uh, quick question. Um, from the buffs, which ones are up? No, Bard Song's not up. Good Hope is up? Yep. Heroism, any chance? Doesn't stack with Good Hope. Uh, I'm just saying. How many years? How many years? Too many. Yes. We don't think about this. We don't talk about how many years we've been doing this. <laughs> I had hair. We don't talk. About I noticed this that I made you a mod of the channel seven years ago. <laughs> I noticed that when I'm like, oh, I'm looking at some some things. I'm like, oh, that's a long time. Yep. Okay, so I was looking three, at my emails four, for some five, like references to other D and D stuff, and it was from twenty fourteen. <laughs> oh, that's how old that character was. <laughs> <laughs> when I used to email myself copies of my character sheets for data story, <laughs> data storage. Yep. Thirty two, still still counting. <laughs> Twelve. He he does he does non lethally, non lethally stuff. Okay. Are these things immune to cold? Oh nope, they're not. They okay. like it down here in this nice fetid. Slightly okay, so the first one's getting slightly three warm. Um, from the Medusa, soggy, yeah, beating. damp, <laughs> moist, moist. <laughs> uh, what's their AC? Just Oof. just roll. Thirty, thirty-one, forty-six. All. Three of them are hits against their flat-foot ACs. Okay, then the second one is getting... Um, oops, three, number sign. My bad. Second one's getting uh, 41, 46, 29. The 29 is oh, one. one. Yeah. Okay, not, not a... Not a critical would have hit. Oh, actually, would it? 48, 27? Would 27 uh, have hit? Against its flat footed AC? Yes. Ooh. Okay. So let's do the damage. 
17, 20, 2, 34. Ooh, these guys are freaked. Do they have any DR? They do have some. Do, um, you have, do they take sneak? Yes. The DR 